So we're starting off with another kind of hazy morning, but we're <laughs> going to see plenty of sunshine later, right? Yeah, later in the day along the coast, it'll take some time to get there. Mm -hmm. The IE will have it first. It'll peel back from the uh, foothills and then uh, still a little cooler today because yeah. it's just so thick out there. But like, I don't mind it when yeah. it's cool in the morning. You kind of you yeah. know, stay in bed a little longer, right. have another cup of coffee. And, yeah. then, and then when the sun comes out, you really get going. I like the way you think because I was thinking <laughs> I've got to do some chores. I've got some yard work to do oh, no, before the heat no, this starts. Is, this is relaxation. <laughs> <laughs> How about the Hollywood Hills? Wow. Uh, yeah, a little misty, a little uh, spritz on the lens there, so you may encounter a little bit of mist and drizzle. I had some early this morning on the ride in. You may get some of that, especially in through the hills if you're going for a hike. Uh, and here's what it looks like from Debbie Sheridan in Simi Valley. She says the uh, valley there completely under the June gloom. See, she is one of our weather watchers. If you go to cbsla.com slash weather watchers, just like Jim Rodder did in Seal Beach, sign up and we'll get you going. And I'd love to hear from you, see your pictures, your temperatures, wind, uh, anything that we can get from you. Even the, when we've got some big waves, we'd love to hear from you as well. There's just a lot going on year round around Southern California, and that's why we invite you to be on our team. 50s and 60s at this hour west of the mountains. That's where the cloud cover is. Now the base of the clouds is pretty high up, so visibility not too bad of an issue. Of course, if you're in the hills uh, above, say, 800 feet or so, you might get some low visibility, but most of you will be out and about uh, enjoying some sunshine later this afternoon. This high pressure uh, is still going to be with us. It'll get stronger as we go into Monday afternoon, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then it starts to break down and will cool back down again. Meantime, today afternoon highs about two to four degrees cooler than they were this time yesterday. Yesterday, and we'll see lots of uh, mid 90s for the high desert as compared to the triple digits yesterday. Steamy is what we're calling it across the south and southeast with lots of humidity, some scattered showers and thunderstorms, and temperatures up to 102 in Dallas. We will manage 105 in Palm Springs today, 82 Big Bear. We've got uh, 82 in Menifee as well, 78 in Temecula, 75 in Anaheim today. If you're headed over to Dana Point, maybe San Clemente, you've got mid to upper 60s, 81 in Northridge. And hey, by the way, if you're up, and about looking look to the south tonight find the moon and just outside of the moon you'll notice jupiter jupiter and then you'll see part of the scorpius uh, that's the scorpion for the constellations you'll notice that tonight before the marine layer comes in Forecast for the coast ahead, uh, days ahead for the coast, 60s. We have 70s for the basin. The valleys will stay in the 80s and then get back to the 90s for the IE as well, Tuesday and Wednesday, next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. The sea breeze picks up. Amy will start to cool back down just a bit as we go through the end of the week. All right, Craig, and even though it's a little